Guys, I think it's fair to say that Striker XT and HT is today in Central Europe the standard issue for special forces of police. Uh, of course, also military special forces are, are wearing Striker XT and Striker HT, uh, but it's more on a private basis. So they purchase themselves, they uh, wear uh, the stuff on, on missions. So we got a lot of feedback of guys who were on missions with Striker XT. And uh, out of all this feedback, we have made a totally new concept of a striker battle dress, which is specifically meeting all these requirements which were raised by military special forces. And if we would like to summarize what is different between Striker XT and Striker X, then uh, I think it's three main characteristics. The first characteristic is we have put a lot of attention on very rugged constructions and functional elements. The second one is that we have modified our pocket config configuration. And the third one is uh, that they are based on the idea of no melt, no drip. So let me walk you through this uh, with the two uh, products which we are now showcasing, which is the Striker X Combat Pants and the Striker X Combat Shirt. Let's start with the combat pants. First, main characteristics which I pointed out already was ruggedness. Now, if you look at the way how we are incorporating um, pockets, for example, into the garment, then you will find that we have eliminated all critical edges which might cause damage so every, every, every section where usually a pocket, for example, is sewn on, it's still sewn on, but then the edge is covered with an additional seam. And you can see it nicely here with that seam. So the seam goes over the flap, the critical edge of the flap over here, it's, it's eliminated. Same thing here on the lower leg pocket also, uh, you don't even see the lower leg pocket, but it's there. It's just that it is incorporated and covered with seams. Rugged also means that uh, for critical, uh, let's say, closures, we have um, a second retention. So if somebody forgets to close a pocket, to button up the pocket, or uh, if, the, if a button goes loose, then still the pocket has a second, let's call it a second line of defense. Um, and I can show you that on these two pockets, for example. So the side pocket, side pocket is with buttons, but incorporated in the upper edge of the, of the pocket, there is a, an elastic draw cord which closes up. So even if you would forget to button up the pocket, there is still a second retention. And there is even a, a third retention, and that is inside. That means that you can fix your gear with elastic straps, so that there is really three lines of defense for gear which you have in the pocket. So, first line, second line, third line of retention. Same thing here in the lower pocket. Lower pocket also has an, an additional el elastic strap. The front pocket here, the pocket inside, the pocket inside has our tuck lock system, which some of you might know from the, from the urban pants. So you can put something in, in, the, in the pocket and then inside the pocket, there is a stretch fabric which grabs the the gear that you have tucked in. Um, second, the pockets. For the closure of the pockets, we have chosen a flap. A classic flap construction with buttons. So you have a huge access to the side pocket um, where you can easily put whatever gear you want into the pocket. So classic flap construction. 
The closure is on Can Canadian buttons. So we went away from, from Velcros. Anyhow, you know that we don't use a lot of Velcro. Um, it's a classic button, which is the safest system to, up to now to close a pocket, apart from a zipper, of course. Um, but it has other downsides. So flap, huge pocket. There is lots of room for storing um, some notepads or two bottles of water, magazines. Uh, and like I said before, there is additional retention inside the pocket. Of course, we also have the vertical zipper. Um, the next thing is the lower leg pocket. Um, the lower leg pocket doesn't have the access to the leg pocket from, from the top. Uh, we found it much more ergonomical if the access to the pocket is from the side, as you're anyhow kneeling down when you want to reach th something in your leg pocket. So a vertical zipper, and here we have a zipper, um, which allows access to the lower leg pocket. We have added an additional front pocket for whatever, compass, Garmin, whatever you have. Uh, also this pocket has a button as the closure, and like I described it before, it has um, the tug lock system which grabs stuff that you put into that pocket. Third one was no melt, no drip. So m the materials are no melt, no drip materials. They're not flame retardant, so please don't misunderstand uh, and, and misinterpret no melt, no drip as something which is flame retardant light. No melt, no drip is no flame retardant light. It's just not melting and not dripping when it burns. But still, no melt, no drip burns. So, like I said before, it's ruggedness of constructions and uh, functional elements. It's the different pocket configuration. And it is uh, the no melt, no drip concept, which characterizes Striker X. There is a couple of other smaller modifications. For example, the, the waist. The waist is padded. So there is a breathable padding inside the waist. Breathable means that uh, the padding is air permeable. The belt loops, the two front belt loops are double belt loops. So you can open them up. You can lead the underbelt underneath here. And a normal duty belt or a normal belt can be led through these loops. And then you just close them up. So if you want to have quick access to the belt and slide on the holster or take off the holster, uh, you just open the two front or the front Velcro or the front belt loop that you want to open. You just open that one. Knee protection. So the knee protection is still, it's our fire and forget knee protection system. So you put your soft knee, knee pads in there uh, you put your solid uh, knee pad in there. Um, you could put it separately in, in there, or you could put it together as we have our <coughs> 3D tactical knee pads. You can combine it already on the knee pad where you have the solid and the flexible um, together as, as a combo. It's still with a zipper. Zipper can be left open so that you get more air circulation. But there was, and I would say that 99% of the users, um, they don't have a problem that the knee section is going to turn around. Um, but there is still a, a smaller percentage of users which say, OK, if I have a lot of stuff in my side pocket, then the knee section starts to turn either inwards or outwards. So I would like to have something which is uh, fixing the knee section to my leg. And for this population, we have now incorporated into the upper section of the leg, and that is exactly here in this section, we have, uh, we have some adjustment. And the adjustment could be seen if you're coming here towards the back of the pants. On the back of the pants, 
I have a button and I have a flap and with that I can adjust the width of that section here and with that I can really fix my knee pad in the right position and it will stay there also. So it's not on Velcro like others do uh, because with Velcros you can, I mean, you can, they can get caught at, you know, in a tight spaces uh, with sharp edges or whatever. Um, so a Velcro, we think that a Velcro is not the best solution for it. And anyhow, you're not going to manipulate that every five minutes. Uh, once you have defined what is the right width of your section here, uh, that's how you keep it then. So guys, these are the Striker x -Pans. Um I invite you to come and visit us at Enforce Tech and EVA at our stand. Um, and I will explain you even more about the pants and the shirt. Uh, if you are not visiting the show, then make sure to click on this link. Um, you will get constant updates. Uh, if you sign up, uh, put your email address in, you will get constant update about the rollout of our new Striker X battle dress. Mm -hmm.